Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about this past week I did a little experiment and I switched things up mainly just for the purpose of doing something different. Um, I also, you know, wanted to see if it would affect my plateau and I also just kind of wanted to try something different for a change. I've been doing alternate day fasting for a really long time so I just wanted to kind of mix it up and I also haven't done OMAD in a while or like a daily window in a while. So my plan for this last week was, and it was just five days, Monday through Friday, I wanted to do a pretty short daily window. So my plan was to do between two and three hours of um, an eating window and to kind of like vary it. So, um, and also to do some carb cycling. So my plan was Monday, Wednesday, Friday to have about a two hour eating window and to do low carb, higher fat, um, not keto, uh, under 50 grams of carbs, net carbs was my goal. And then um, for Tuesday and Thursday, I was going to do high, higher carb, lower fat. Um, and then for those days, my goal was to stay um, between 50 and 70 grams of fat about, which I know some people would not consider low fat. So that's why I'm kind of saying higher and lower, not high and low, because I wanted it to be more towards the moderate, but like, um, on the lower end. So, um, I was using carb manager for this week, um, to track my food, which I don't normally do. I don't normally count calories or macros or anything. And I, I don't share my food with you guys a whole lot because, um, for one thing, it's pretty tedious. Like, I don't know how the people who do like vlogging track or, you know, show everything they eat. Like I know some people do and love it, but I just could not keep up with that. So that's one reason. Another reason is just because people are very passionate about food and get very like fixated on it. And I don't want to share what I eat and for one thing who wants to be judged right but the other thing is just that I don't want it to be something where I'm saying this is what you should eat it's just um in this context of this video I'm just showing what I ate um it's not saying this is the best thing to eat or that you should eat it it's just in this week, in this experiment, this, these are the things that I ate. So there are going to be a lot of pictures and little snapshots of food. So if you are fasting right now, I'm just warning you right now that there is going to be food in this video. So putting that out there. So I'll get started with my week. And on Monday, I opened at about 21 and a half hours fasted. And I ended up having a one and a half hour eating window that day. So I ate two eggs with butter, a third cup of nuts, a cup of Brussels sprouts that were um, tossed in some avocado oil that I did in the air fryer. Um, and then after that, I had about three ounces of carnitas. These were leftover like shredded pork that I had made um, and frozen and um, defrosted. So then I had a half of an avocado two tablespoons of sour cream, two ounces of cheese, some green taco sauce, romaine, and three tablespoons of ranch dressing. Um, and then to close my window that day, I had a fourth cup of pecans um, with about 40 Lily's chips, the chocolate chips, and then some chia pudding, which was a fourth cup of chia, one cup of milk, um, some stevia, vanilla, and a tablespoon of cocoa powder. So for the day, I ended up with um, about 40 net carbs, 85 grams of protein, 156 grams of fat, and about 2,046 2, calories. So that was Monday, and I am not going to share my actual weights. I'm going to do my weigh-in for my channel in a couple of weeks, but I am going to tell you the fluctuations of my weight. So after Monday, when I weighed in on Tuesday morning, I was down 0.9 pounds from Monday after my low carb day. Okay, so then Tuesday, um, I opened at about 21 hours fasted. I had a two hour eating window. This was my higher carb, lower fat day. 
Um, I had a cup of almond milk, two scoops of collagen powder with a banana and strawberries, frozen strawberries. And then I had some leftover chicken and mashed potatoes. I had some skier yogurt. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the cherry Icelandic style yogurt from Trader Joe's. Um, I had about two thirds of that. And then I had some aqua kefir, also from Trader Joe's, a mandarin orange, a pink lady apple. Um, and then I had, I made some chicken soup with two pieces of sourdough bread with a little bit of butter. And then I closed my window with six pieces of dark chocolate and three dates. So I did load everything into Carb Manager for this day, but I had to kind of estimate because, you know, I was using recipes and so it was a little trickier to track this day. Um, but I had approximately 1,724 calories, 75 grams of protein, 64 grams of fat, and 208 net carbs. And then after Tuesday, when I weighed in on Wednesday, I was down 1.1 pounds. Okay, so now moving into so now moving into Wednesday, this was another low carb, higher fat day, and I opened at 22 hours fasted. I had a two hour eating window. I started with broccoli and butter, a half a cup of cottage cheese. Um, two eggs and a third a cup of nuts. So very similar to Monday. And then also again, I had chia pudding, which was again, one fourth cup of chia seeds, one cup of almond milk, one tablespoon of cocoa, stevia and vanilla. And then after that, I had some romaine, two tablespoons of ranch. I had mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms and butter, half cup of the unexpected cheddar cheese. Um, which is really good. I was trying that from Trader Joe's along with their New Zealand grass-fed butter, super delicious. Um, one fourth cup of pizza sauce and one ounce of carnitas, again, from my leftover carnitas. Um, then after that, I closed with 20 grams of Lily chips, Lily's chips, the chocolate chips. So for the day, I was at about 1758 calories, 78 grams of protein, 136 grams of fat, 33 grams of net carbs. And after Wednesday, I was down 1.3 pounds. So then Thursday, I was having a high carb, low fat day. And I had a little bit of a longer window this day. I I ended or I opened my window at 21 hours fasted and I had a three and a half hour eating window. I just felt like I needed a longer window this day. I was starting to feel a little bit um, frazzled with all the tracking and the tighter windows. And I just felt like I needed to kind of relax it a little bit this day. So I went with my instincts and kept my window open just a little bit longer. Um, and I also didn't put things into carb manager this day kind of for the same reason. I was starting to just get that like really diety feeling from tracking everything. And so I just decided I was only gonna track my um, fat grams for this day since it was a lower fat day. So I did that. I opened with a strawberry smoothie because there was no bananas left. I just did almond milk, strawberry, stevia, stevia and collagen. Um, some more carnitas and leftover enchiladas. I finished my yogurt from the other day. So then I had some of the leftover soup that I had made on Tuesday with some sourdough toast. Um, I had a few sips of the kefir again. I um, Then for dinner, I had a little bit of pasta with two tablespoons of pesto and marinated chicken. I had two, mar two mandarin oranges. And then I closed with three dates and a bar of Trader Joe's dark chocolate. So my total fat grams for the day was about 61. And after this day, I was up 0.8 pounds Friday morning. Um, probably because I had a longer window, maybe because of the higher carb. But I was down um, after my previous high carb day. So that's not necessarily the case. I think there's a lot of factors that go into that. So Friday, 
was a lower carb, higher fat day. I broke at 22 hours fasted. I had a one hour window. I wanted to keep this window short because I had had a longer window the day before and also because Saturday I was just gonna be eating all day. So I wanted to go ahead and just have a shorter window that day. So I started out, again, you're gonna see a lot of repeats here. So um, just with two eggs, some broccoli, I sprinkled some unexpected cheddar cheese um, from Trader Joe's on the broccoli and then, and the eggs. And I also had nuts and cottage cheese. So then after that, I made some cheese taco shells. You just, um, sprinkle cheese onto a pan and, you know, theoretically it's supposed to make a nice taco shell. I used to be really good at making it, but this time I just had a not so stellar result, but it was still good. So I had that with some taco meat, some beef with the rest of the carnitas. I had some guacamole, some sour cream, salsa, and lettuce. And then I closed with 25 grams of Lily's chips. So it was really good. And I ended that day at about 100 grams of protein, 123 grams of fat, 29 net carbs. And on Saturday morning, I was down 1.4 pounds. So that's how that week went. Um, and my thoughts on, on whether I liked it or not, uh, definitely it was nice to eat every day, but I still prefer alternate day fasting. Um, for me personally and how it went was that I still felt um, just as hungry throughout the day as I would have alternate day fasting but I had to do it every day instead of just three days. So for me, I would rather do that three days than every day and just enjoy an entire day of eating. Um, it just feels more rewarding to me than to have to like watch the time and you know be anticipating that food and then have to like think about when do I wanna close my window. You know, I, there's just a lot of reasons why alternate day fasting works for me. I think. I don't know if it's a physical thing, um, what makes people like it or not, or if it's a mental thing, but for me, I just, I do prefer it, but it was a good experiment. And as far as whether it broke my plateau or not, I did share with you the fluctuations, but overall, um, I was actually up from the Saturday before. So, and that is what I expected. And the reason is because you're going to typically for most people, you're going to show less on the scale after a full day of not eating than when you have eaten the night before, even if it is a low carb day, which I know there can be exceptions to that. And I did steadily decline in weight throughout the week, but, um, the net loss or gain, it was a gain. So I did expect that. And I will share the numbers, like I said, in a couple of weeks, um, but that doesn't mean that it didn't do anything for me and it will, if anything, it'll probably show up in this week that I'm in, you know, back to my alternate day fasting routine. Um, it's possible that it did shift something. And so, um, I'm glad I tried it and it was interesting. Uh, the interesting thing too, was that I expected to be less hungry after my lower carb days. Um, and that wasn't the case. I actually had the same amount of hunger, whether or not I was doing low carb or high carb. Um, I find that the higher carb days were more satisfying just because there is, in my opinion, more of a variety of things that are easy to eat with higher carb. Now, I do like a lot of things um, that are lower carb, but I feel like it just gets to be very repetitive unless you do like some recipes and things, but like I didn't want to do, I wanted to keep it really simple. I wanted to um, not have to deviate too much from what I was already making for my family. And so I just sort of um, adjusted it to that. And one thing I wanted to mention was just that um, in regards to my weigh-in after this OMAD week versus my weigh-in after an ADF week, Weight can vary so, so much. So it's really important to look at the big picture and not just a single moment in time. Um, I found this graphic, which I'll put in here, and it shows 
all of the different factors that will affect your weight on any given day. And there are so many different things, you know, with what's coming in and out of our bodies that will fluctuate our weight. And, you know, according to this graphic here, it's like a five pound variable any given day that you that could affect you. And so anytime you change something up, you may see a drastic drop. You may even see a gain. That doesn't mean that it's best or worse for you. It just means that maybe you haven't responded quite yet or something else is happening. So you have to really look at the big picture and not just that moment in time. And um, so that's really important to remember. And um, I think we all can do well <laughs> to be reminded of that fact. So that being said, that was my little experiment for the week. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you've ever done any kind of carb cycling and how it worked out for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>